what y'all think is the best series ending show? Y'all say Game of Thrones was trash. I guess Snowfall. I don't watch Snowfall, but. Breaking Bad. Breaking, Breaking Bad, Bad was really good. The best. the best joint. It ended yeah. very well. What y'all think about The Wire? The Wire wasn't bad, but Breaking Bad was, better. was a better all around. Breaking Bad was good. Closure. Man, the wire weird. wasn't bad. It was just like all right, this is over. Yeah, yeah. but they like did their life part. Goes on. They did their part for the wire. They did better than Sopranos. I'm about to sure. say what you didn't like about the Sopranos because that's a very it popular. Went, and wasn't the very last scene like a black screen or something? Too. It went to a black screen. Yeah, it was just like yeah. It was. I mean, it was good until the last episode. Really? I mean, very good until the last episode. The last and episode wasn't horrible. It was just like, man, this is the best y'all could come up with. The way they ended was to horrible. End? Yeah. yeah. I thought somebody was going to shoot up the diner for a second. I was like, oh, this is going to be good. So something and was so, going to happen. Yeah. yeah. They and set then it up that the way. The way they set it up, it was like, all right, well, maybe they're going to have a movie. I didn't see that. Oh, oh man. It didn't. Oh. <laughs> 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 this conversation ain't for us, okay? Right. <laughs> Who do you think is the best no, series? I'm not a. I'm not a TV oh, you got enough watching. Skin in the game? How about I you? have not seen The Wire all the way through. I have not seen Man, that's some good shit right there. Breaking Bad. The only show I've really ever watched uh-huh. was um, I know you watched Marvel. Game of Thrones. And what was the other joint when they were, they landed on the the plane crashed? Oh, I know what you're talking about. Lost. Lost, yeah. Oh, I never yeah. got into Lost. Oh, I, I used to watch Lost back in the really? day. Really? Yeah. And you finished it. You Unfortunately. You know what? I that also ended bad. <laughs> what's, the name of that sh- what's the name of that show with the Blacklist? Where the uh, do- I used to, people used to try to get me to watch I used that to show. watch that joint on Netflix. I was like, this is really good. Really? And um, I was like, well, why they always fade into black and fade back? You know, like every time... Uh, Episode, not an episode, or it was like a scene about the end, then just fade to black. It was like, because that's where the, the commercials, commercials go. go. Uh-huh. Oh. And then I realized it was like regular, TV, regular TV. And show. I was like, nope. Oh, <laughs> <that's> <laughs> exactly uh, the blacklist was good. I don't like regular TV stuff, man. That joint, if it's regular TV, it need oh, to be on FX. It got to be on. It got to be on FX for me. It got to be some type way. of raunchiness. Like, what's hey. wrong with y'all? But you no, like the black he, he needs the filth. If it's not enough filth, I need reality. Thank That's you. what I need. I just need reality. It's just got to be realistic to me. All of it, even is though not I know reality. it's not. Right, right, right. So All of the regular TV CSI. stuff is not going to be realistic enough. Everybody is immune to CSI, dog. You know what's a really good show right now? Um, Harlem. Do you guys watch Harlem mm-hmm. on Amazon Prime? Mm-hmm. I tried to watch it. Wasn't it on I tried Stars to watch first? it in the first season, yeah. Huh? Wasn't it on Stars first? Yeah, it was always on Amazon Prime. Amazon oh, Prime, yeah. yeah. Who's starring in that, Kira? Um, Megan, Megan Good, Good is... Good. Oh, Good. that's, that's the one I watch. Too. Okay, oh. so I got that confused with the one... Remember, Forrest Whitaker was in a show. Oh, that's what I thought it was. That's the Godfather of Harlem. That's what I thought it was. But I do watch that one. That's a really good show. Granddaddy of Harlem, right? Oh, yeah, man. That's a good show. Harlem is a really good show. The comedic timing is good. If you're someone who's... He's not going to like it because he's like anti-feminist, you know, but... Otherwise, where's the bus? Oh, that, they go yeah. Everybody, he loves the women. But, uh, the usher joke. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is a really good show. Yeah, I watched that. Mm-hmm. I think I got the first like season wasn't that bad, but it was just some wild stuff, man. It some is butt, crazy. Some butt eating and stuff. I, was I ain't get that far. I ain't even get that it far. It is some crazy. Season. I mean, it ain't that bad though. No, it's not as bad. It's, it's not as bad. Valley. Valley. It's not. Yeah, uh, right. It's not as bad as P Valley. Right. I would never watch P Valley. I know that. I would give that a chance. I don't ever. Way before P Valley. It's more comedic. I don't suggest oh any. What's the P in? <laughs> <laughs> Pussy. Does it really? It does. Is it about strippers? Yes. yes, it is. Oh, yeah. That makes sense now. It's good though. I if you want it. to watch for the stripping, the talent is there. Okay. But just know you're gonna get more bang. For your more bang. I don't think. <laughs> I don't know. That's a bang for me. Uh, more bang. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get some banging for your butt. Oh, really? Yeah. She's like, I don't know how to say it. Do you suggest I watch it? Yes or no? For 
Don't watch that show, man. Don't watch it? If you're able to compartmentalize like a love story, no between matter who it's, no matter who the love is between. Oh, so it's not for me. And, yeah, <laughs> it's not go. for you. <laughs> there you go. Some people can what's appreciate. What's his name, though? Uh, what's that guy's name? The main dude, um, Uncle Clifford, whatever his name uh-huh. is. Uh-huh. He just got honored at the NAACP award. Oh, that was, I mean, they always do that. Whatever. They just go to show you who, uh, who owns the NAACP. I'm trying to figure out how... Okay, cool. Something called Pussy Valley. It's P Valley. P Valley, yeah. Okay. Well, but the P stands for pussy. Yeah, it does. P stands for pussy. Well, it, it has like. <laughs> Why is that? That's very misleading. Like if I'm going into the right, right. like it's true. Uh, that's, a, that's a trick bag. That's oh. a man. Oh, yeah, it's a trick bag. As soon as you told me yeah. that the P stands for pussy, I was you like, was like, oh, the show. I think I might want to oh, watch it. <laughs> <laughs> and no, it's not Tell me more. Tell me more. Yeah, no. No, did I know? Yeah, wow. no. Thank you for if the warning. If somebody did that, they would have set been you pissed up. off. Yeah, they would set you up. Hmm. It's a good show, though. I'll just say this. You it's still well, watch it? It's, a, it's well written. No. Okay. I'm okay. not really. Okay. And it's beautifully shot, too. It's like, uh, who shoots... Queen Valley. I can't think of Queen the, Sugar. Queen Sugar. Sugar. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's okay. like every frame is a, and I'm not just saying that because it's a Howard it's person, very cinematic. but yeah, it's luscious. Yeah, yeah. look good. It's it's, they form. spent money. Mm-hmm. They it's spent, art form, though. They know? spent money on it in time. You can tell they had. Like people think making a a, a motion film, you know what I'm saying, is, is easy, is simple as. Uh, holding the camera mm-hmm. and having a good script and having good actors, mm-hmm. but you gotta have an eye. You gotta have an eye. You gotta yeah. have the cameraman gotta be on point. Yeah. The equipment gotta be on point. Yep. Maybe and the one. director and all that. Everything from from start to remember, from top to bottom remember gotta be that on movie point. that um, uh, Denzel Washington's son was in with the girl with the skinny girl. That was all done in Zendaya. Zendaya uh, in, a, in oh, one room. Yeah. Like argue, in one, in one argue, argue, central three thousand. That's an three film right there too. So I think the thing that I liked about that movie was the cinematography. The yeah. Oh, yeah, how it was all in black and white, mm-hmm. and then the views were. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I think yeah, that views made the movie. Like, yeah, yeah. I can see that. I can see that. It definitely made it intriguing for sure. Yeah. Like cause the whole movie is just an argument. This is a very interesting argument. I, I don't know why y'all ain't like. I, I enjoyed. I never oh, saw it. I didn't say it was bad. You never saw it? No, it's only like an hour and a half. What is it called? Damn, you watched it? I know. Yeah, bro. Oh, I don't know okay. What I thought you said you had seen it. That was me. <laughs> that was him. Oh, okay. I don't know what the name oh, of it is, though. <laughs> Denzel and Zendaya. I'll just look that up. The, uh, the, the argument that's not what that wasn't <laughs> the fight. Not that would, that that would not even do with any of that. Denzel. No. They didn't fight. They and argued. It's not Denzel. It's not Denzel. It's his son. It's, it's his son. Yeah, it's his son. son. Isaiah. 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 But talk, what did he say that got everybody upset? I was talking about your F word before. Oh. He got, he, got that, he got kicked out of Grey's Anatomy for, for that. doing F-bomb. that. Yeah. 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 So that was the decline, the beginning of the decline. He's actually on season one of P Valley. He is. Wow. Man, he's a good actor. He's a good actor. He and he gave good. Well, I ain't talking about him being a good actor. I'm just saying, that just don't seem like it aligns with his morals. Uh, you know what I'm saying? What? You know that, man? P Valley. Because he's a very conservative dude. Oh, I see what you're saying. So, which is probably why he's not on. It's about time for him to retire. (laughs) (laughs) He had a. Oh, I didn't know this. He he probably got tripped up like that. He's all about pussy, so I don't know. Let me try not to sound excited. I guess I'll do it. (laughs) Did he just say it was what? Just time to hang it up or what? He was saying pretty much like uh, he's 60. He said the the haters, the haters have won. He said the way this country going, man, like. I'm about to have to go ahead and say two fingers. He did say something like that. Something along them lines. He said, it's it's with a heavy heart and a sense of relief that I am announcing my early retirement from the entertainment industry. 60, though. I mean, that's what we're supposed to do. For those who've been following or witnessing my journey here on Twitter since 2011, 
Uh, they all know that I fought the good fight, but it seems that the haters, provocateurs, and the useful idiots have won. I'm mm. no longer interested in the back and forth regarding the a color construct that keeps us human beings divided, nor am I interested in politics or anything vitrolific. Mm. You know what surprised me about him? That he was married to a black woman. Oh, yeah. It did. That surprises you? like a slow it brother. Hey, me, nah, me and you see else. the same. I feel like he was a white a white woman man. Yeah. yeah. Or, like or Korean or something. I was thinking more Asian. Asian. But they look but, see more but, Asian woman. But most, a lot of actors look like that, though. Look that's like true, what? That's true, because that's Hollywood of, look. That's yeah, a lot of people in, in the entertainment industry look like that. They do? I see what you're saying. It's easier yeah. to Think about everybody who loves Love Jones, minus Bill Bellamy and Lorenz Tate. They all look like they could date white women. That's because they all look like goobers. But that's Hollywood. Mm -hmm. That's though. Hollywood. Black people. They corny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> no, we get already talking. Oh, we're doing the corny. We already talking. <laughs> All right, I know y'all are hey, corny, huh? Uh, yeah, this one topic that Buns wanted to talk about. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I don't know the girl's name, but y'all know who the girl is. Lori. Lori. Yeah. So, so who is she? Let's talk about who she She's is. She's a radio personality. She's and Angela Yee's own girl. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. And so I guess they both grew up in Cali somewhere. So mm -hmm. uh, New Jersey, New Jersey, New Jersey. Coast. East Coast. East Coast. So uh, Michael B. Jordan is fair east side. He's not from. <laughs> he's not from California. No, uh, uh, he's from New Jersey. Like Cali boy, Jersey boy. Yeah. Okay. yeah, but he grew up in Jersey. Okay. Jersey. So y'all. So what was the event that they were at? Where his his movie Creed Three, the oh, premiere on the red carpet. Directed First of all, I don't think that interaction was as big as like. I don't even think it's worth us talking about it right now. Okay. I mean, it's yeah, newsworthy, it's cool. like but I don't like think it's that like big this. of a deal. Really? That's, that's interesting. Yeah. Unless it was a longer clip than what I saw. It just was like a... Well, there's backstory to it also. Okay. Well, let's get into, let's the, get backstory, into the backstory because I don't know that. So Tell. she does a pod, no, on okay. her radio show, yeah. Dominique the Diva. She is a radio personality also. Okay. On her radio show, she was like, I feel like Michael B. Jordan is corny. Right. In a good way. That's what she said. That's that's what the girl L. said. L. said no. no. Oh. Dominique the Diva. Dominique the Diva. That's okay. what she said. Was okay. L'Oreal on the show? Yes. yes the They're show. all on the same show. Okay. And so she um, said she, he's corny in a good way. In a good way. No, I didn't right? know it was a good way. I thought huh? it was a bad way. But no, she literally said that. She uh, was like, I think he's corny in a good way. Okay. She went along and, to explain. And so then um, L'Oreal chimed in and was like, you funny you say that. I went to high school with him. We used to tease him all the time because his name was Michael Jordan. Jordan. Mm -hmm. And she was like, and because he used to walk around with headshots. Like, you know, the actors yeah, head, yeah, yeah. headshots. Yeah. So she was like, we used to tease him all the time about that. Cut to the interview. He's just like, I'm the corny dude, right? Yeah. Like, so he's kind of like lumping I, it all in, all together. So that's kind of like where it all started. And he was just kind of salty about that. I think it had more to do about being made fun of in high school. High school. High school look at me now and look at you. Right. I think yeah. that, she that same energy. Energy. Look at me now. She looks. I and mean, she did backtrack at the end because she was like, "Well, obviously uh, you're, not you're not corny, corny now. now, right? Right. So if you didn't say it, then right. stand on she tried it. Try to say she ain't say it, but she said, "Yeah, well, you're not corny now. Peace out. See you later." Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, I get it. So I, Joe Button was like, "Yo, I, yeah, I get." That yep. was some corny shit you did, Michael. So B. hold on, hold on, yeah, so hold, on. hold on. So before we oh, get there, yeah, before we that. get there, when I didn't understand the story and the story was explained to me, I was like, "Yo, the attitude that he displayed to me was exemplary of a corny nigga. He was respectful. Why would he do that? Was corny." Because he brought it up? So not only did he bring it up, he doubled down. And you can tell, we talked about this before, a lot of communication is nonverbal. Mm -hmm. You could tell by his posture that he was all mm -hmm. like, oh, what's up now? Like, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? He okay. was, but he was still respectful. Okay, let's say. So, wait, 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 so disrespectful and corny can't not exist? They, they can't can't disrespectful? I don't think so, because he didn't have to do that interview for one. Exactly. And he answered all her questions yeah. after he addressed but, the elephant. But we know why he did it. He yeah. went low for a second, but, but then he did. brought it right back. He could have been a lot worse. Yeah. He could have been yeah. a lot worse. What are y'all doing right now? 
Okay, okay. <laughs> so y'all, so y'all agree with me, but saying so what? Fuck it is what you're saying. High school like, trauma is real. That's what I'm saying. saying. Is it? Yeah. So who knows how At you the point would feel where you made if you... somebody that shitted on you in and high school. call you dingleberry nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> from, in from high school, school. high school, school. throughout <laughs> high school, and you see the nigga in there, and you, y'all forget who I was in thing. high school. Y'all forget. My last name and how I got clowned all the time in high school. I got made fun of all the time in high school. Okay. All right. Okay. I have this. You got Michael B. Jordan. And it was all exactly right now. Was, right now. But even if I was, even if I was, okay. like, why would I? I don't. I, I understand. Don't know what I would be so much happier to be. He just had a pen to run money. to run across some, and, and which is corny. That's my point. Happens. It happens. Okay, to Every, many people. It probably Everybody. was traumatic to him, and he got a little emotional about it. And I don't feel like that. He, he, he was folding up his damn uh, <laughs> his head. I'm gonna go see one day. <laughs> <laughs> day. Um, hey, dog. No, I'm just. So. Let me just tell you, I am completely surprised, especially at you two. <laughs> oh, wow. Especially y'all. That's the corniest shit I've ever seen in my life. Why would he punch down in the situation? He didn't like punch that? down. He jaw like did that. He at least slapped down on. First of all. I like, think that you would do the same thing. I don't know shit. I think you would do the same thing. All the men here, and I this, would bet on you. You would do the same thing. That's all I'm saying. I, I would, would do that. That's no cap. I think all of y'all are in agreement on that. I think we are. Oh, we got to take the glasses off. I think, given your opportunity, now you that I think about it, I don't see you do some shit like that before. I can see you go there and then bring it yes. right back. I can see you do that. Yeah. And bring it back? Yeah, he That's probably That's why I said it could have been worse. <sighs> now, I, I think it would have been worse if it was him. <laughs> 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 yeah! I'm going to tell him, I'm like, come on, dog. <laughs> Above being corny. Hold on, I would have you to know that I'm not <laughs> above being corny. Okay? There, I've done a lot of corny things. Matter of fact, I have stereo. I have put myself in the corny category several times. So why are you upset? On purpose, though. Like, I, like when I'm corny, I'm corny on purpose. I think he like, had intent too. <laughs> He had a lot of intent. Like, he, was he, being, he was being petty in a way that What's it was corny. What's being corny? There's different levels of corny, too. What's your definition of corny? Listen, I'd rather be rich corny Bam, any day. Bam, <laughs> I'd rather be Michael B. Jordan Essen- corny Essen- any Essen- day. Essentially, it's just a level, a level of vulnerability that most people aren't willing to show to the public. Period. That to me, that is a, gr- a granular version. See, my of definition corny. of corny is like a square, somewhere in the realm of a square. Like Poindexter. Not Poindexter. Like that's Duncan not Pender, corny. Uh, what's the name? Duncan uh, Pender Hughes. Like a Duncan yeah. Pender Hughes, uh, maybe. Oh, okay. Class act, okay. Yeah, it's like, oh, you you okay. don't have enough. You're not well rounded, so that's why you're Got corny. Got you. Okay. You know There's levels like, of corny. There's different levels of corny. Yeah, like you can't get along with certain crowds because you're kind of corny. Huh. I think being emotional. So was Carlton corny? Yes. Yes. Mm. I think Carlton being I think being emotional on Not a certain level that like that though. is corny. <laughs> like Bama's are called Scotty Pippen corny <laughs> based on how he's going with the whole Michael Jordan thing. Like having a level of um, what was corny in that moment? To me, mm-hmm. just it was it was to me it was just how he punched down or or the fact that he stooped. And he didn't have to, though. Like, you talking about the fact that he bring it up? Yeah. The fact that... Hold on. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. And the fact that it was high school. Like, I'm doing my job. You're doing your job. I'm here to interview for your movie that you produced and you're starring in. Why, why do you have to... Like, why do you... Something that why do you, recently. as Michael B. Jordan... The, have the, to take that opportunity. The, the recent com- the board, yeah. recent comment about him being corny with Dominique the Diva and no. L'Oreal was present. That was recent. He was like, that but she didn't make the comment. Yes, he she did, she, but she was there. So uh, that's fine. So it's like if we if we in here clowning somebody, right? And you're not necessarily clowning, but you're like, oh, okay, yeah. You was there. Uh, you know, yeah, yeah, I see what y'all saying, or you know, whatever, right? And then that person sees you. Not us, you by yourself, but they know you here with us. 
They know you be on the show. And you was with the shit. All and you I'm saying say is that nigga's an actor. Okay? All right. Okay. He had an opportunity to act a certain way. No. Regardless of how he actually felt. I see what you're saying. You understand what I'm saying? should have did though. I think he should have just, just interviewed and leveled up. Like if he's didn't at, even say nothing. If he's at a certain level, be at that certain level. You understand what I'm saying? Just yeah. left it like a you know yeah, human. You know what I'm saying? You and I both know. Yeah. Type of thing. And, and, and we know, you know what know. kind of human it is. According one. Oh. So that's all I'm saying. Joe Joe Budden was saying that he would he wouldn't have reacted that way if it were. I know a, he probably would have smacked white, her in her face, right? Right. No, no, no. Did he say something like if it was? That's what Joe Budden was saying. White he woman. said that's what he think. He said because it was oh, a sister. Michael B. Jordan wouldn't have done it's a that. It's a sister on Too a platform white. like that. Uh-huh. Why would he take the she, opportunity she, she, to she, basically? He kind of made the a white woman she, call him she, corny. She, she a black like, woman. Yeah, she 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 black, but yeah. she was Hispanic. One or two, but she she got that blonde hair. Did the white woman call him corny? That's the issue. What do you like mean that the white woman call him corny? Like it's not like he just picked a random black woman right, and to started just diss to like dis this. Yeah. He had legitimate yeah, history, history with this chick. I think not legitimate though. Michael he B. had history, he but not legitimate, and that's where my argument he is. He has history. That's with not white. legitimate. I'm sure he's done some white women in his life before. He has history with white women. Yeah, he's, he's, known he, he's probably yeah, he dates them. Yeah. He dates them. Yeah, he right. might have done the same thing. I, I, so Joe Button don't got no room to be hey, talking. At all. Hey, hey, we know, we he's know, we know where y'all listen to. I don't even know why y'all listen to what he's saying. Well, it was a He's headline. the reason that I know about I saw his response to it before I saw the actual. And I'm like, all of this for this little two-second clip? Got you. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sure I thought he was doing too much and it was corny. That's all. Not that he's not allowed to be emotional, but Man, he, he said something about high school and I'm like, well, high texting me about the job. That's he's probably like, his last school. You experience. serious? You think that's not corny? I was no, like, I no, believe, no, nigga. No, I just couldn't believe. I, nah, for real, I was very thrown, taken back by your response, though. I couldn't believe it. I, I couldn't like, believe. It. I thought it was corny, but I mean, I think the people who be um, talking shit about people is more corny. What you mean? I think like comedians. <laughs> well, you know, I do about, respect the girl Dominique Diva because she doubled down after everything happened and was, yeah, like, she was I, like, "No, we no. made fun of your name." No, no, no. She was like, "I oh. think any black man who dates white women are, is corny." She oh, did so double that's down. That's why I thought. That's why when you said uh, well, that's that was in a good way, that's her. Huh? When you say he was corny in a good way. That's why I was like, man. she did say that in the okay. initial interview. But I'm saying once okay. everything kind of came out in the interview, she he's petty. She she hear a tweet. She was like. <laughs> I think any black man who dates white women is corny. So she doubled down on it. She ain't back up or be but like, I'm sorry, my bad. She didn't see him on the red carpet. She, she, she did too. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. You know what I'm saying? I don't matter. Little chicks. Yeah, I mean, the verdict is out for me. I, I, it's still out for me with, with Michael B. Jordan. I, I, he's been in the game for so long. Um, so sometimes it's not fair to judge him because he was a child star too. But now he's a, you know. He's, He's an out. adult, so there's probably a lot of transitions was, that happen. He was on the wire. That. Yeah, there's a lot of transitions that happen through that. But anyway, who would have thought he was gonna become this dude though? From Definitely the wire. didn't see that from Wallace mm-hmm. on the wire. Yeah, me neither though. So kudos oh. to Michael B. Jordan, man. Mm-hmm. Oh, Wallace. Yeah. Was yeah. Sad, he had a sad demise too He's on that sure. show. Oh yeah. man, it's I'm still sure. talked about to this day. Yeah, man. But he kind of did it to himself. Yeah. Did y'all see that white girl speaking of uh, black men that date white women that made the peanut butter and jelly sandwich for her boyfriend from scratch? The whole thing from scratch. Made, I started watching that and then I just kind of made the bread, made the, bread, made the, the jelly, peanut butter, made, made the jelly, everything. <laughs> made from scratch. From yeah. scratch. The dough made and everything. everything. Bake yes. the joint, cut the joint. Shut the up. Up. <laughs> she, cut the, she made the. She smashed up all the strawberries. That's what I'm <laughs> and then. Uh, Cooked them, made it to a jelly. She's make it. Everybody talk about she ain't keep it. Well, that's why Michael B. Jordan. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you see the way I'm looking at it. <laughs> From scratch. Boiled the jelly. Hey. They put it in the jar. If that's why I'm corny, then I'm corny. That's it. Duh. I guess you got to take the good what? with the bad, though. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just, I, get, I, I get homemade peanut butter jelly sandwiches, nigga. Yeah. You didn't know how she long it mile. probably took her to make that sandwich. She went the whole yeah. mile for that. It probably mile. took her at least an hour, at least, yeah, to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. That's a lot, That's a lot for peanut working. butter and jelly. Yeah. 
Well, I'm, peanut butter I, jelly is supposed to be a quick situation. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but if you're going to make me a peanut butter jelly sandwich, man, you know. Might as well, might might as well go all out. But just imagine, so, if she go all peanuts. out for the peanut butter jelly. If she does that if for peanut butter jelly, imagine how much effort she put into everything else. That's not quite jelly. That's not quite jelly. <laughs> no, right, Jeff, you imagine oh, so I was trying to get did y'all see the second pictures of them together, the, the black and white pictures of uh, oh. Michael B. Jordan and Jonathan Majors. Oh yeah, Hit part two. Here shoulders. we go. Me. All the shoulders and stuff. What you mean? I <laughs> was thinking like, what if they were brothers? Now I, I had another spin okay. to it. What that if they were brothers? brothers? That and picture. that's the big. Yeah, I seen them join. Yeah, I seen them. Oh, yeah, see, I didn't, I so I it thought it was was it supposed to be a joke? Like, what? It, no, it's not a joke. This is always a New, joke. New York, some, some New York Times uh, moisture. Man, that ain't moist. So I did. I'm not gonna put my head on none of y'all shoulders. Man. <laughs> you know, that's, you know, that's, that's that's your insecurities. That ain't moist. <laughs> nah, I'm not gonna do. I ain't gonna do it. So I did see a comment that said, "Huh? Picture, Why would we do you? this? Because y'all are actors, or y'all are big time. That's not moist. What, what is, is this for? What if y'all was brothers, like big brother, little brother? They both got brothers, and they don't do that shit with neither one of their brothers. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that with my brother. Yeah. That's because that's because that's what I'm saying. That's because I mean, that's who they are. are. Why would I do that? But the but but your that's range. My point. Okay, why but, would I do that? But your range is what I'm saying. Whatever your range is, I think it's not it makes it, what makes it more is that they are not brothers, and we know it. Okay. And that's, I, I disagree. Let me see it again. That ain't boys. <laughs> Jeff Sarcy. He's not he's sitting in his lap or laying on his lap or doing no shit like that, nigga. That, I mean, oh, why would you have like? Why would you look that way? These are actors, inter- right? Correct. So they're why entertainers. You, so they're this, entertainers. But so who I, are they trying to entertain? I'm more confused because the they're man. not smiling. They're yeah, just, like my I mean, man giving his smoky eye. Why like, well, his man's cheek point. is on his cheek? Yeah. What? Who does that? His brother. Mm-hmm. Jeff yeah. Sarcy on Facebook said, Brothers. images of black men loving on each other seem to make some of us very uncomfortable, uncomfortable which means we need to see no, more. No, this ain't that bad right here. No, that's that ain't that, that bad. bad. Hey, 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 this is not that bad. That's what I'm that's saying. Cool. I can see like somebody this, made y'all take a picture. But <laughs> this stuff? Which, this is Miles <laughs> Davis and Charles That's his Ryan. head. That, and, I mean, no, it I don't mean, matter whose head it is. No, hand. That's his head. Cool J. No, that was too much. Uh-oh, Poojay. Oh, no. Oh, no. no, we got to go back to that. Wait a minute. This is it. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> go back. Go back. No, you ain't about to be cool. Go back. Wait, I saw, I saw you ain't about to be holding me from the back. No, 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 no. That is too much. No, no, no. We ain't doing that right now. That's all right. But they acting as though. Yeah, they ain't doing that. They ain't doing that. That was too much. I'm saying there's a line. They didn't cross it, but they close to it. Yeah. That's over it. That's what I'm saying. It's Why a would whole you do post that? Of black no, no, images. Either. You can scroll. Uh, okay. Uh, Why would anybody do that? Man. Oh, that, that, this isn't. This was a, you know, something funny. Y'all fishing, dog. Y'all fishing is all. Oh. I'm not fishing. I think that's like an ad or something. Oh, okay. That, that's not. That's that, that, wrong. That, Let me see. Let me see. Obviously, there's a that's a triumphant moment there. Uh, They've, they've seen that they won something uh-huh. that they've been working hard for. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? What? So so is it that you need more contact? That's nothing that's wrong with that one either. That's just came from? Yes. That's, that's what it is? Yes, that's, that's what I said. Why would you do that? Shoes? Just tell me why. <laughs> what are you doing? They're not looking at the camera. They're looking like why? at another camera. They're not looking at the camera. That's why are they that way? Can <laughs> we go back to the LL joint? LL and Jay Z. No, nah, that ain't that's that. Some, that's some kids, kids stuff. Yeah. yeah, they was young. I mean, look, the, I don't the, see the coach wrong with Jones. none of them other people. Coach Train Jones, the one right there. This, this is one, Miles, Miles Davis. One. Miles that's Davis. the one right there that probably could be done without. Oh, it's because the fingers are interlocked. Yeah. Is that what it is? It's also, the, the position and the Miles look down. What's going on, bro? <laughs> What's going on right there? Like, Miles? what situation would you ever be in where that is okay? Uh, Riding a motorcycle. That's what I'm saying. Why did you write it? The person who wrote this post. Somebody said, no. Nah, this like, one doesn't fit with the rest. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. The person who wrote this post. They were like, yo, let's see if I can see this one. Why can't Mr. Lillard? Nah. We ain't slide. This one is. This one is. This one is. This one is. Nah, nigga. You gay. We caught you, nigga. You gay. Nah. 
No, we man. caught you. <laughs> <laughs> see, see, no, 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 no. we was waiting for yeah. one more. We was it's waiting that. for you to do one more. Hey. 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 <laughs> no, and I hate that it had to come from you, nigga, because you was the one. I knew it was gonna come from you. Uh, oh, nah, but I mean, no, I, I don't see nothing wrong with those particular. I need pictures. context. Still, I understand that you need context, and that's fine, but. Yeah, I don't know what. Why did man they, nowadays stuff like that is not well, even really hidden though. Everything is so flamboyant. Like with that joint, I, I, that's not that bad. But uh, the other one with the pink and all that type of stuff, it was a saying, lot of. It's on the heels of. It was just de- it's just demasculating. It a, that's, well, that's it's not for me. It was the lips. That's what it was. Like yeah, it was really he the got lips. lips though. In addition to no, the outfit. he 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 did duck lips. Uh, yeah, Mendo, Michael B. Jordan did. The he other one lips. has lips. He did duck lips? We talking yeah. about them Jonathan Major jokes yeah, like last John, week. There was John, a lot of yeah. occultic symbolism in that joke too, though. That's the whole thing. What was the symbolism? Mm, it was just a bunch, yo. It was a... Uh, I don't know what that symbolizes, but I don't want no possible. Like, the whole shoe, he got a joke with the doll on the his head. The whole shoe, too. He got, I mean, he got a whole bunch of little three-dimensional oh, yeah. type of little occultic shit going on. They be doing that with them photo shoots, too. They do all the time. Mm-hmm. Like you see DMX doing some of the same signs mm-hmm. that people be doing, all this type of shit representing occultic symbolism, all that type of stuff. Yeah. So that's I think so we look far we, we, we look at the demasculization. That's be the like, part oh, of it. D-mask or E-mask? I think it might be E-mask. Oh, E-mask. You're right. I'm I sorry. I apologize. That was my fault, America. But uh it's a whole <laughs> lot of other little <laughs> undertones that's going on <laughs> that we completely unaware about, you know, uh, uh, unaware of. And that's the real message that they're trying to send. So, mm. not to us, no. to those who know, yeah, to those in the know for sure. Surf, surface mm-hmm. level. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. Welcome back. How did we get here? Oh yeah, what's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? Yeah. Welcome back. How what's up, father-in-law? How you doing? <laughs> Hi, Dad. <laughs> He's going to be like, y'all should have said uh, hello 30 minutes ago. <laughs> That's how we do it. You know what I'm saying? How, and this is how and we got here, y'all. <laughs> y'all, did y'all see this? This is heavy. But there's this woman who, listen. You can keep on reminding people what I said, what I said. And like I said, she laid there. Did y'all see it this? got pregnant, so guess what? We're going to keep the baby. We're going to keep it. I'm not aborting my grandchild. Your what child? Grandchild. It's not up for debate. The daughter's 12. Ooh. Oh. Who's the baby with, though? Carl we, Malone. We don't Go know. Ahead, that, was, that was not. That was. <laughs> that was. <laughs> we don't know, but. That was too low. What are your thoughts about low. a 12 year old? And the mother making her... Oh, she wants to come on. Can I ask a question? The, the grandmother is saying abortion is not an option. You laid there. Can I ask a question? Yeah. Why is this public? Yeah. That's a good ass question, too. That's a great question. Why do people Because no, that's I, the day and age. Yeah, so, so yeah. I guess my that's question what we is, like, highlights was, that, was, that, was that the announcement to the public? The daughter, or was it already public? So I I'm think, about it, to be I think this was already public. Okay. Um, her 12-year-old okay. daughter... Response is pregnant by the 13-year-old star of their local best oh, school that's a basketball finesse. team. There you have it. That's a finesse right oh. there. So she like, yeah, boy, you're going to be case. a pro. Yeah. And if you're not, gonna I'm going to be baby. a woe. I'm going to be blown. Because this baby going to be expensive as hell if you're not rich. Yeah, they like, nah. Just in case you make it. So, yeah. uh, so, I'm, so we talked about this before. We always, we always discuss how parenting affects the child, right? So, if I'm going to be completely honest, a 12-year-old that is pregnant, I would not expect anything else from the mother. Period. That's as far as I'm going to go. You would not expect anything else from the mother? I wouldn't expect anything less. Oh, um, I see what you're saying. Most of the time, they be getting... Do you understand you. what I'm saying? Oh, if the 12-year-old is able to get pregnant, then, then, Correct. then of course, I, the mother if, can't if be... If we have but, a 12-year-old uh, that... Has found a way to be sexualized, A, and B, finds herself in a way to make her way to pregnant. sex to somehow, be- some way or another. Then. You know, unfortunately, whatever her situation is, it is, but. This comes with the territory. It's a direct, it's a direct correlation. Mm-hmm. But I, I, I've seen parents, you know, on both sides be like, <clears throat> smush motion? Yeah, smush motion. Right. And 
like they take their daughter to get you know abortion or whatever and then you know it's on mutual it's on the boy in and on the oh, on the parents and on the uh mm-hmm. the daughter's in mm-hmm. or whatever and then um i think the the girl ended up getting pregnant again oh after it she didn't learn her lesson Surely after yeah and she ended up keeping that joint but, but you know. once again where where was the Parents. See what I'm saying? Like the free time the that issue, she's able to get pregnant. The, that's a good like, question, man. Yeah. You know, these people be be having these big houses. They be having to be outside of them houses. Everybody's to, goals to, 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 to keep them. them. You know what uh, Everybody's goals aren't the guess. same, y'all. Everybody's goals aren't the same. Everybody. That's we, my we, only guess, right there. We, we, I think we're supposed to go to school. We're supposed to get educated. We're supposed to find somebody, fall in love, get married, and have our own family. That's not everybody's goal. That's a fact. Everybody's goal is different. And but so a lot of times, people just be living though, too. Well, that's, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Like when you don't have goals, that's what you do. You just, just be out here flying <laughs> by the seat of their Well, that's what I'm saying. You know, so, especially as a, a you know as a child, that's typically what children do. Mm-hmm. You very real uh, seldomly find a Michael B. Jordan that's really out here carrying his headshots around because he know he's going to mm-hmm. be an actor one day. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Most of us ended up in a profession that we in just by. You know, oh, this is where I made the most money, or you know, or you know, what, I think I might want to do this, or you know, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But this dude, he knew he had from, a plan from get he had a plan from getting most That's kids is not yeah, like yeah. that. Most kids are not like you that. know what I'm saying? So, or, or had a dream and was like, I'm gonna do what I can to see through it, like right, see it to fruition, right. or have the support. That too. Man, that's a to big allow thing. that because that's, that's really what it is. No kid yeah. is going to be able to do that on their own. Facts. That's a true thing. And they go back to thing. what you're saying. There's yeah. a direct correlation there. Yeah. Kira, what did you think? You didn't say anything. I I would not want to be in that mother's shoe Mm-mm. whatsoever. A um, boy or that, daughter. Yeah. That, that's, my, that's my thought. Um, typically, I don't. I would say let God's will be done. And if God wants her to have this baby, the baby will be here. So I'll just say that. That's just kind of how I leave yeah, it. I don't think it's, I don't think that I don't is think right I would play. Wrong. I don't think there's a yeah, right or wrong there. I don't think she's wrong for taking that approach. I don't think I would, uh, would I take think, a 12 year old. I don't think she's necessarily To wrong. an abortion club. I might take her to a uh, adoption, uh, uh, right. Uh, mm-hmm. cl- is it that called mm-hmm. clinic or agency. Well, agency? Agency, yeah. But I don't know that I would take her to an abortion. Yeah, I, mean, I know. I feel like I failed as a mother. I tell you that much. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like such. But don't, a fail. Fail. Oh, yeah. but don't you think that since we've gotten away from the traditional values that we, well, we we didn't have them in our generation or the generation before, but it was at one point in time where, like, girls and boys were heavily presided over. You know what I'm saying? Before, I don't know, yeah. Oh, you mean what? In terms of when they're in e- this, when they when they're children, space. it was when, a different time. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because you had I, like younger. You, you started. You, starting you started. You started families earlier. Yeah. yeah. No. Wow. It was like, like 14, 15, 16. 14, yeah. yeah. You started you was starting to think because you was a sharecropper or something. You know yes, what I'm saying? That's just the way. And it was like, oh, you go over there. You're going to marry the Johnson boy because yeah. he, he, he 12 years old and he got his own land. No, nah, but you know what? I, I was. <laughs> yeah, we <laughs> didn't have as many dollars back then. No, you didn't have as many dollars. Have, 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 have y'all been on Ancestry.com? We are. No, why would I'm not going back on Ancestry.com. It's a It's a rabbit hole. It trying is. to find who your great 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 grandfather was. Them niggas was in their twenties when they was having children. Yeah, when they first started having children in the seventeen and eighteen hundreds. Mm-hmm. Even like younger. you can look at the even, even younger, younger, I mean, even some, younger than but that. But it wasn't. It wasn't like like they having children at a young age now, now. more than they did back then. Only because. Like you saying now? No, no, I don't know about this. The biblical days, they was. 15, I don't know nothing about like the biblical days. I wasn't there for that, <laughs> but I know. You were there for the 1800s? Yeah, but I can talk to people that were. I, and no, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as I have. You were there in the 1800s? Yes. Who? Oh, my great grandfather. How old is he? He ain't alive no more. Oh, I'm saying I have. Said he's spoken to him. But oh, even yeah. if he hasn't, his parents have. Yeah. That's what, I, that's oh, what yeah. I'm saying. By yeah, proxy, yeah, yeah. It's, not, it's not like. A gajillion years ago, I'm just yeah. getting sifted down. I'm talking about like two people well, removed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, ge- that's really just two generations. Anything that's two generations removed, we should still have access to one way or another. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Ancestry, how far can you go back in your family? 
Like literally? Yeah. Probably my great grandfather. As far as my knowledge. Yeah. yeah. That's about it. Me too. Uh, I can go. And I haven't tried, but. Technically, without Ancestry.com, I could only go back to my grandmothers. I don't trust nothing. I, and th- that's the thing. And I'm not sending my DNA into nah, Ancestry, I but I'm, I'm pretty not. certain that I've done the research but to they, find the people. But they got actual records. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. People, census bureaus and everything. Yeah, land records, all yeah. that type all that of stuff. Type of stuff. I, I'm that's how you and research it. So we can't, and That's we can, really the best way you me, can do me it. And my grandfa- me and my uncle cannot figure out who his great, great, great grandfather is. Ah, uh, okay. We got all the way to like 18, I think he was born in 1858. And we can't find out who his parents actually were. Mm-hmm. After that, it kind of goes radio silent. Yeah, but After you know what's crazy? Time. Like, you can click on a white person's jump. And it goes and on forever. And it goes to 16, 1500 shit. It goes on forever, like, yeah. It's called his story. And then they be having pictures of these people, dog. This is like, God damn, but a black person? No, nah, they wouldn't have ours. It's like, God damn. We, well, we, I upload. I realized y'all were second class citizens. We got motherfuckers. Like, barely that. If we that, got motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah. I think one, whole, whole, one, one third body. of a human. We got empty. Mm. We got empty holes in our history, dog. Like yeah, crazy. Facts. Like, How far can you go back, Tiffany? My um, probably three or four. My great. Yep. Great, great, four. Four that's, greats. That's deep. Four greats. On your mm. on your dad's side. My dad's yeah, side. Yeah, they do, they good at that over there. <laughs> the dude. They like the most. <laughs> they, up until a certain point, they was like the most consistent family I've ever seen oh, wow. having like okay. reunions yeah, yeah. Pretty good. and all of that type of stuff. Yeah, so where we came that. from. So yeah, like, like they have a, they had like a. The Johnsons uh, are like that. It? The Johnsons yeah, yeah, are yeah, like that. Yeah. Yeah. They be having a family a tree base. at every jump. Like, like a, they have a, a, a organization. Tree. Like oh, oh, yeah, her yeah. dad's family is like that. My dad's family. They're the Johnsons are good at. That's what's up. The dude whose funeral I went to today because of Anthony Flowers, rest in peace. He was our last historian for my mom's mom's side. Mm. Like so, uh, everything that he knew, fuck yeah, gone. Was, right? <laughs> yeah, so. I be I be thinking about it now. I be like, that. I wish I would have asked my grandparents a lot more about our history when they. That's were why Ancestry dot com. I do think it's stuff. important. Yeah, because yeah. they have the software there and it's free. To build your tree, to build your family mm-hmm. tree, and then if somebody up. else in your family is building the tree, you get you'll get that little together. leaf. If it's the same, it's like, hey, this person here has a match, mm-hmm. you know, you might find a cousin that way. But forewarning, that shit is a fucking rabbit hole. It is a rabbit hole. You it can was, backfire. Man, you could be on this joint like 2, 3 o'clock in the morning like, oh, oh, me and my uncle texting each other back and forth like, hey, nigga, who's this nigga right here? I say he a Negro. He might be a cousin. <laughs> <laughs> so I did find my grandmother's uh, mother, mother's family. Mother, yeah. I'm not gonna go into details, but that's cool. I though. will, yes. But they wanted nothing to do with like it seemed like they wanted to connect. But then they did, and then it was like I would reach out to them. They would. That's they weird. Stop why wouldn't somebody? Calls, why wouldn't somebody want to connect with these lives, man? Because yeah. I just want to know. Like I, I can't think of a reason why. It depends on the situation. That is what you call his grandmother. Oh, come on. Give me a situation like, where somebody would not want. Grandmother. I'll, I'll tell you my situation. Okay. Off, off off the the show the yep. okay. Just in case <laughs> any family members <laughs> out there so want to connect. Speaking of, speaking of, uh, <laughs> speaking of speaking of long lost generations. Speaking of long lost generations and families, I want y'all to hear this dude. Oh. And a lot of women have an issue calling me a deadbeat because I tell them I was being irresponsible, yet not wearing protection. But I always tell these women that I got pregnant that I do not want to be a father to these children. And I offer to pay for the abortion. Majority of times they'll either take the abortion or they'll take a plan B. But only these seven have kept these children. But the crazy thing about it is they want me to be responsible for some children I told them I did not want. So for some years now, do not want. And I don't give a what nobody think about it. You're not gonna force children upon me. Yeah, we both made the decision to lay down and have intercourse. We both was irresponsible about the decisions we made that night. Yeah, I could have pulled out, but I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. I'm like. not the one that's gonna have to carry a baby for nine months. Wow. It's the woman. In my opinion, wow. women 
should be more careful on who they sleep with. You should because too, nigga. Like, so watch what you say. Trying to find me so I can financially support a kid I didn't told her or them I did not want. Another thing is these just jump offs. He's the type of woman that I ain't you even see? had to do nothing for. The bad minimum, but they gave me access to their body, and they think I want to be a, a father to a child for one of them. But I don't even have no type of love for these women. How do they expect me to love these children? Before y'all say wow. Okay, Wow, no, I don't even want, I, we don't even gotta go no further. I want to hear his little yeah. disclaimer. Oh, you want to hear yeah, you want to hear the last part? You hear me say I don't take what do you accountability. Yeah, I do. I just don't give a. You ain't gonna force <laughs> these children on me when I told you I ain't want them. Yeah, I can offer to a pay for abortion, but at what point can I force a woman to go get an abortion? I cannot. A woman say my body, oh, my choice, but I say it's my life, my choice. Before y'all try to stitch this shit be like black man this, black man that, I don't give a <laughs> <laughs> don't take accountability. Yeah, I do. I just don't give a that. Some of them been well, just... Yeah. Respo response. Responses. Because I don't He got a point, but... My whole thing is, how you gonna sit up here and tell women to be accountable for who they lay with? And you just laying with anybody, too. Like, you like, they jump all. I would never raise a child... That's the whole thing about having that, yeah. sex, though. You know that if I lay down with this jump off, the potential for a child is on is is a high chance. No, 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 no. It's a chance. It's it's way a chance. more than a high chance. You heard what he said. He said, "Yeah, I'll be shooting the club up, but I don't care. I just know that either a I'm a good at Plan B, or I'm gonna have somebody get an abortion." People like him. He um, no. He literally. That's what's wrong with black people. It shouldn't be anyone busting it open for him exactly. after this video. It that's should not. With, but there don't do be. that to black people. No, just, no one that's what's wrong with on black this people. planet after this has gone viral should be sleeping Unless with Unless they people. already got a baby by him. Y'all already, clearly. No, don't make any more. Do us a favor. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> that, but that's the same. That's the, and when I say black people, I mean certain black people who have fatherless children. Because... People like him, he don't. He wanted to have all the sex that he want to have, and don't want to deal with the consequences of the sex. And then women that he had sex with be like, "Come on, have sex me up," and I want to keep the baby. And now this baby is going to be raised, to lost be like in society. Well, you can't blame be like him will be worse. worse yeah. You know what I'm saying? So here's my thing: you can't blame women for this. Yeah, I blame everybody, man, for that. No, I'm gonna tell you why. Everybody involved. Everybody involved. Yeah, I blame him for it, yo. Uh, women are women are under the spell of men, typically, especially when it comes to them giving their bodies to them. It's an advantage that you have that you've used to your advantage several times that we all have. But I think you got to admit it. I think it has to be admitted to a point. I think it go both ways. Yeah, it go, I think both. It go Stop. both ways. And I think the main problem is people worship themselves too much because all they look to do is gratify their loans. At the end Fine, of the day, whatever. Everything everybody is, does, okay, everything everybody is centered around that. gratifying your loans. When <laughs> your loans. <you're, laughs> it's, it's a lot of responsibility that comes with so that. So it's either this or, or, or back in the day when shit like this happened, you know what will happen. What will happen? They get the, the lights off? The, no, the families, the families will make the two people get married, oh, yeah. whether they liked it or not. You will hope. Well, I mean, it happened more. It happened more. It happened more, it happened more, it happened more happen. often than it would happen in yeah. today's world. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Or even because sometimes the guy more. just was like, "All right, I'm gonna step up. It's my kid." Yeah, but this nigga just That's not him down. Like, not like, after one. He just done. No, yeah. not after two. And no, like you said, if any woman decides to lay down with him. Even if he like, girl, you know what? If I have a baby with you, I'm gonna be there. Yeah, I Man. just don't understand the the idea of trapping a guy because uh, I imagine that's what he feels like. No, that's what some some women some you know women actually, that. actually feel that way. Like they feel like they you know a baby will keep a nigga. Mm -hmm. Okay, it never does, but um, sometimes it never does. It just doesn't keep them in the capacity that they wanted them. Um, so I, 
it's everyone's to blame. Like the he's irresponsible and nasty, but for a woman to allow him to yeah. nut up in her, yeah. knowing what type of dude he is, or just or the the ramifications of being nutted nutted. Not just the pawn. Not just the sin. Not just the sin. It's just a lie. Hey, can we name this? And poor, and, and poor, <laughs> and poor, and, and you know the kids are the victims in all this. The kids are the victims. Oh man, poor babies. And that's why I mean, they're going, going back the, to your ancestors at this point. Babies. But, but just think, these man, kids don't stand a chance. Look at the statistics, yo. Two parent households typically bring the best children. And best adults. That's what Deion Sanders said. I heard his little speech he gave about the type of uh, quarterbacks. We were specific for the position. Yeah. Yes, yeah. and but there was reasoning behind that. He was like, I, yeah. my defensive line, man. I want that nigga to have a single mother. <laughs> yep. No father. And there was reasoning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh y'all want to know what's interesting? Y'all want to know what's interesting about that? I want that boy to be hungry. Right. Y'all want to know what's interesting about that? His son is a quarterback. I know. For their team. And their parents aren't, his parents aren't together. And his either. parents aren't together. They were, though. And he's, so, okay, so that he's doesn't count. That's true. He's heavily involved in That him. is true. That is true. Because they were once. And both the parents are. Yeah. Okay. They're both heavily involved both in their mother and, and father. Life. Oh, okay, so yeah. I'll give him a break. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. But <laughs> but just, just statistically, and statistics say for children that's raised in a single parent household, and just think about the children that feel neglected and they know that their dad don't want nothing to do with them. Like they don't, I don't even think they have a stat for that. What's but we know Carl Malone, sir. <laughs> yeah, but he's an anomaly because he. But they made also it to, made the, it NFL. to the NFL, and he had gifted athletic genes as well. Right from his That's father. That's not an anomaly. I feel like sometimes it is an anomaly. Nah, his father had genes that anybody looking at. But I'm saying that, that dude right genes. there probably don't have athletic genes, so they those kids probably not gonna grow and be like. One day I'm gonna meet my father because I'm gonna be a starting left tackle in the NFL with a thirty million dollar right. contract. No, I'm saying it could go it could go both ways in that you could grow up in a situation where it's like you know when I get a, a, a when I become an adult mm-hmm. I will never be like this. Right. I know how it felt. I'll never put a child through right. this. You know, it could go the other yeah. way too. Well, it, could, it could also that person could end up in jail. He, he could end up drop out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said it could go off. both ways. She could end up pregnant. There's a lot a of good fathers out here now because of that type of situation. Yes. Right. They're like, man, I'm going to be a great father. Yeah. Because? Because my father wasn't. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'll say this. I think we've gotten away from the idea of some of the traditional things that we were raised on and our parents were raised on, like being married before having children. Um, although we understand. Hmm? Right. <laughs> I'm a bastard. I'm a bastard. <laughs> I'm a bastard. I'm a bastard. I'm a bastard. I'm a bastard. I'm a I have a child outside of a marriage, too. So that's not the point. What I'm saying is those values were still instilled in us in a way where something like this, where somebody goes online and, and does it's not it's not, this person has literally no idea i don't give a fuck That's come on saying. bro like <laughs> and we understand that we can teach women. our children things but sometimes they They'd fail. Be like come on in yeah fail. people fail people fail all the time but That's knowing right. what's right and knowing what's wrong is the responsibility of this individual his it's parents it's not solely on him at this age you gotta understand at it's this not solely age on him. it's not so whatever he lay up with it's on them too exactly I, you know, think, I, I think I just don't six, have him finessing me. Like I think I'm it's trying 60, to figure out yeah. what he said. I think it's 6040. I think he, he I may think also that, target a certain type of Oh obviously. Uh, and that's my point. That's why it's 6040. Nah. Men, I'm sorry. I agree dog. with you. I no, agree. I'm saying I agree with men you. have more of a responsibility. I agree. With men think, should have more responsibility. But they do. Period. I think it just boils down to the level of consciousness. In both individuals, him and her, whoever has more wherewithal of the situation, what it is, then more than likely it's him. More than likely it's him. Because he more knows it's the man. I'm a skeet in these joints, the man. and, and I, they get pregnant, yeah. I ain't going to be here. Them girls ain't thinking like that more than likely. Yeah, he, he like, or, I'm yeah. so that's what and I'm saying. But the there probably have been women that they took the money. That has got to be expensive. Or the plan B. That has that. got to be expensive. But what he said was he ain't nah. do nothing to get them. So the same five, six, seven hundred dollars that you would spend on a date to He's try to impress somebody. I'm like, who's spending that much well, on a date? A portion, Two dates. A, a, a portion. 
Okay. How about four hundred dollars? Five hundred? How much? I don't know. It's like two fifty or something. Yeah, yeah. 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 I ain't that expensive. Right? I'm just trying to. Nah, not no more. That's what I'm saying. What? They be wanting you to do it. You can sometimes. They be wanting you to do it. And you, sometimes you can get one for free. Nah. This would be like that. I don't know I since they reversed the Roe versus Wade oh, thing. I don't know how it is, man. I I couldn't tell you how much. But they had though. free clinics for that. Yeah, oh, they that's did. true. That's they what did. free clinics are for. And that's why a lot of people are like, nah, I don't want my help. I don't want my taxes to pay for no. Yeah, but I don't yeah. want them wow. type of abortions if I'm gonna get one. I don't want them. What's the, what's those type? I don't. What? I don't want the free ones. <laughs> oh, you feel like something uh, janky with the free what, ones? What? What? What do you mean? <laughs> I went to Denny's one time and had a horrible experience and started to argue with the manager and then I looked around. I was like, damn. I'm at Denny's. What you expect? What the fuck did I expect, bro? And I was like, you no, know what? no, no, no. This I was is like, you know what? Have a good day. It's fine. It's cool. Like, this, this is me? my fault. <laughs> Are you kidding me? No, for real. Hair in my ex. <laughs> really? Uh, po- you know you start you know you say man, how preposterous is that? <laughs> Not to mention I had lip marks on my cup. <laughs> Not to mention. <laughs> when my waiter on my cup, he didn't even introduce himself. <laughs> I'm sorry, what's your name, sir? Right. I don't even know this guy. <laughs> Got a mayor too. I didn't know she had a mayor. mayor. He was Bowie? the upcoming mayor, field mayor of these towns. Bowie, you know, yeah, I thought yeah, it was yeah. like a small, not a yes. small position, but something like a else. Cities. Like a um, those are cities. Uh, something. What do you uh, call them people? Uh, county representatives. Superintendent. Yes. Oh, council. Uh, council. Councilmen. Councilmen. Yeah. They, uh, have, that's that's they, they have city yeah. council. They have all that. So, well, College Park's mayor is has been arrested. Oh, and 56 counts of yeah, child man. pornography. 56? Oh, man. They counted all of them? Well, well 56. It's all, all it's all charges. Charges. Just stop counting, though. No, like, you know, so he can get different charges. Because charges. you get more time. More, more time for each charge. Charges. So PG County Police Department. I think after department. 25 and 50, it's going to be the same sentence. No. You just tack it on. They tack it on. Yeah, they're trying to get a win, man. Trying to build it on. They so received the tip. PG County that they Police find him guilty received for. the tip from uh, missing and exploited children on February 17th. He has since resigned. Is he married? A kids? I family? Don't. That's a good question. Here's my question. Is he black? No. Oh, thank God. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. So, he's not married. He's not married. Okay. And uh, A non-black man, he's a mayor. Hmm. You know, typically people in power don't have... He's but not like the mayor a, of a. I mean, it's not like Washington D.C. Still, though, but typically, typically certain positions. Like, I feel like I've gotten turned down for positions because I wasn't married. Did you what? I wasn't married. Uh, well, wasn't I feel married? like certain positions married. or certain people they look for. They're not supposed to, but they do. Yeah, they're not. That's like really? like married people are more trustworthy. Mm-hmm. Or it's gonna in, be more they got, yeah. in corporate America. They got more. Well, they, they got probably more to lose. feel like they'll. Well, why don't yeah. you slip yeah. on the ring and go for that interview? He almost there. That's also true. Yeah. That's about a year out, he'd be good. That's also true. Um, speaking of, I don't want to say child pornography, but child molestation. Aaron Rodgers was just on. Um, whoa, whoa. Isn't Pat he Ma- dead? No, he's a football player. Oh. He was just oh, on the my. Pat McCaffrey. Sorry. Wait, wait, what? stop. Who did you think Aaron Rodgers was? Aaron. The the Philadelphia Patriot that killed himself. What's his name? Hernandez. Aaron Hernandez. Yes. Philadelphia. <laughs> Philadelphia Patriots. Y'all. I know she made. That's my new favorite Thank team. You. Philadelphia Listen, Patriots. Y'all know by now that I don't watch no Let's goddamn go. what's more. That's okay. I needed to get my entertainment from somewhere. Go ahead. So go ahead. long story short, he was on the um, Pat McAfee show. That man got like three. Three million subscribers on his show. McCaffrey, yeah, probably yeah. a lot of them come from the Aaron Rodgers stuff. But uh, so he was like, "Yeah, man, I want, I want to know who was on the Epstein list." And um, you know, Aaron Rodgers said, that? "Yeah, Aaron Rodgers said that." <laughs> this Bama Jimmy Kimmel stopped making fun of the Bama for wanting to know who was on the Epstein list. And it's like, hold up, dog, what's wrong with wanting to know what's on the Epstein list? 
Who on the Epstein list? Like, why? Because yeah, especially somebody <laughs> like him that's famous too. Yeah. He might be in the circle. He yeah. want to know who he around that's with the with the weirdness. And he like, and Jimmy Kimmel like, yeah, man. Jimmy Kimmel probably on that list. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's like, allegedly. But it's like, who would be upset with somebody yeah. wanting Martin to know Kimmel that? What's on the Epstein you know what I'm saying? If you're not What did Jimmy Kimmel say? I got he was just making fun of them. Yeah, that was one. You know how they do their little skits. How they do their little uh, their little uh, monologues in the beginning of the show. This and guy wants to make. He wants to see what's on the list. He probably just. And speaking of monologues, y'all saw the uh, Woody Harrelson monologue for uh, oh, for yeah. SNL. No. He, oh, y'all didn't watch that no. joint. Uh huh. Mm. I, I, I love SNL. Dang. I didn't even see it. That was good. Yeah, he uh he took a little. He got a lot of flack for being anti-vax. Because uh, he pretty much was like, "Oh, I think I saw that." The way he set yeah. it up, isn't he the one that married a fourteen-year-old or something? Woody Harrelson? Woody Harrelson? Maybe I'm confusing him with somebody else. Woody That's Woody Allen. Woody Allen. Oh the my bad. Dude. Why, why are these niggas named Woody anyway? <laughs> Which <laughs> one? Thank you. <laughs> I don't know if it's that. Yeah, I don't know. Charles's or Dicks? So. I don't, I don't Richards or Dicks? Richards, Richards, Richards that are Dicks? Yeah. Charles's Charles. or Chucks? Chucks. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Are you excited about your boys' comedy show tonight? Who? Kevin Hart, Chris Rock. Oh, Chris Rock. That's yeah. coming on tonight. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's coming on. Yeah. Baltimore. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, I why ain't there? Why we ain't there, bro? They've been looked up. So you're not Where's excited from? Baltimore. Where who from? Why is it in Baltimore? That's a good question. But you know what? You don't think that's okay. on purpose? My yeah. coworker. He trolling. He trolling. He also said he watched um this Will, Will Smith. Smith movie. Just to see him get whipped. What was that movie? Which one? I guess it was a little the slave movie. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I heard he, he had an Oscar worthy performance in that too. Oh, oh okay. yeah. My friend right. has a friend <laughs> All this shit is. who took a PJ to uh, right. New York. Yeah. Mm-hmm. New York and back in the same, uh, well, not the same day, but. Why do you need a private jet for that? Just because they could. It's just like 45 minutes, bro. Just be- just because they could. go through all the hustle, hustle, yeah. yeah, the hustle. Yeah, man. But he said, yeah. he was like, guess who yeah. I ran I can, into I yeah. at the yeah. airport yeah. getting off the plane? He had ran into Chris Rock. Oh, okay. Uh, so I knew something was going on with him. You got a PJ? Yeah. What? Uh-huh. You a black person? Right. What? <laughs> nah, he told what you do? <laughs> I'm not the only one. <laughs> <laughs> you got that little sp- <laughs> So to answer your question, yes, I'm glad you brought that up. I did not know. No, you know what's so I funny. do think Chris Rock is funny. I know I y'all know. don't. What I know. Is, I mean, what channel is it? The zebra it's from Madagascar. It's him. Look yeah. just like it. That's what they, they do with all cartoons. They they do do if, if y'all notice, they take like um, prominent features, yeah, from from the actual people and put them into the cartoon characters. I don't know if play. I feel like that about the rest of the characters. Like Jada don't look like the hippo. No, program. she don't. Jada? Oh, that's Jada. The hippo. She the was the hippopotamus. The female hippopotamus. Now, how much do you I, think I a hippo seen. look like Jada? No, nobody else resembles their thing on there, their animal on there, except Stop. for Chris Rock. I've seen <laughs> I've seen episodes and things where I watch a lot of animated stuff, so I know. I'm just talking about Madagascar. I'm just getting into, maybe just that's like our next that movie, as I'm just getting into Madagascar? An, animation. I Madagascar, Madagascar is very, very, it's good. very it's good. good. I feel like I've seen it. It's good. You've seen I'm The sorry, Incredibles? I, 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 yeah. I, I, I squirreled this. I, we what just we saw Puss in Boots, I told you. Puss in Boots is bad. Puss in Boots is so good. I might have to. Y'all so funny all linked to the game. Yeah, yeah, the kid movie game. Yeah, the kid movie game has been been. <laughs> yeah, the joint uh, been popular. Oh, they always been. Sing, 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 sing is good. And, and they put stuff in it for us because they know we gotta take the kids. Yeah, yeah. yeah. put some booze on. There's a lot in it for us. Oh, you know well, that's, that's an offshoot of Shrek from the offshoot of Shrek. And Shrek is literally for us. Yeah, oh, Shrek is hilarious. I've seen all the Shrek. Yeah, they they miss all the jokes though because they don't know nursery rhymes anymore. Nope. They don't no, these nothing. kids don't even write cursive no more. They don't, don't like write. what? They barely write. They barely write. They don't write no more. They don't, like, well, they they don't, don't care write about handwriting. Right no we, we took a we took a group to no. the African American History and Culture and Museum. Stop this cursive. And let me tell you, well, reading. Yeah. Oh, okay. uh, um, but no, my point was. Most people say the second floor is just like yeah, you don't have to see it. Mm-hmm. When I tell you the way that these kids 
they came to life and I realized why everything on that second floor is digital like you can interactive I mean they were just in their zone with swiping and that's a good point I was like Oh, like they didn't want to speaking of which, see the real artifact. They don't know, they the life. They don't know that life. Swipe about it. Yeah. That's all. That's the best of all world. Do y'all know? If y'all I'm like, you know, the real thing is upstairs. Do y'all know if y'all kids can read uh, one of them? A digital, not a digital watch, but an analog clock. Clock. You said, did we know what? Do you know if your kids can read an analog clock? Oh yeah, easily. Your kid, if so, your kids are in a. Fifth percentile of kids in that generation. Mm. Oh, they can't. They cannot. Kids nowadays cannot read analog clocks anymore. Ah, damn! What's that? Uh, it, though, it's crazy. Hey, Everything you know, is digital. Or, yep. What does that two nine mean? What's yep. <laughs> yeah. I would like to uh, make sure my kid. Can Please do. That. They do teach it at school still. What school? Yeah, they clocks. do Ooh. clocks. clocks. Yeah. They don't teach but, class of the school no more though. Oh no, they don't do Handwriting that. is done. They, how you gonna do a signature if you don't know That's how to do That's exactly pressure. what happened. Handwriting is like you I know signatures is gonna be fingerprints by the time they old. Well so I have matter. I have colleagues who will send handwriting stuff home. Like I know Please, they, I would love that. But is it a, is it a requirement in the curriculum? Like homework. Um I would have to see. I don't think so though. I don't think so. I would have to look at the Oh handwriting, not cursive. Not cursive, but oh, just like But print. if you do handwriting, yeah, cursive handwriting. has to be in they, there. They gloss over handwriting, but it's not like, like we used to get graded on, on oh, loose points yeah. for yeah. handwriting. That ain't happening no more. Yeah. Yeah, dog. yeah I think, I, I don't want to be one of them old people who just feel like, oh, anything that's new. You're going to be. Nah, 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 nah. Oh, like, I, I really try statement. hard, though. I really try hard. Like, anything, anything that's, that's new, new ain't better be. than what it used to be, right? Oh, oh no. Nah. But handwriting... To me, it's still, it's like a lot. They also don't learn art. typing either. Like, they're always amazed to see me. Yeah, and we took typing classes too. That's the and, thing. But they, so we have a both. lot of times, they're just packing away at They used keys. to this. Oh, yeah. Man, I'm just worried about they, who's they in charge of the school like systems that. and what and why they're trying the to. The establishment is in charge of the school. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm trying to figure out. Like, gotta, that's why we have to really be communities and and commune with one another and start these schools or whatever they end up somebody basement uh, co-ops for food uh, I don't know why they don't teach certain finance classes this may sound a little sinister but I'm gonna tell you why this is my theory I'm listening the smarter and the more knowledgeable you are the more you're gonna buck the system the less dependent on the system you'll be Mm -hmm. right so if if you look at right now what's going on, the mm-hmm. economy supposedly jacked up and all this stuff, but it's a lot of people that are thriving. rich that are thriving, right? We gotta reverse that mm-hmm. so we can boost the economy, get everything pumping again. But we need the dependency to do that. Hey, speaking of which, Just saying, can you show that video that Woody that uh, that uh, Woody Harrison joint? Woody, Woody Harrison joint because I feel like that has something to do with that too. Woody was dropping some dimes. Hey, yeah, nobody you know laughed either, but it was funny about it. I bet that you they was very, half of them was probably vaccinated. That joke was very <laughs> Dave Chappelle-esque. There's nothing wrong with being vaccinated, by the way. Oh, you didn't think it was funny? No, no, no. What I'm saying is... <laughs> I know they were like Dave Chappelle. <laughs> nah. The thing is, it wasn't like, oh, side cracking. Ha, 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 funny. It wasn't. It was like, it was the, damn. Oh, damn. Right. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the movie goes like this. Oh, I saw this. Biggest drug cartels in the world get this. together and buy up all the media and all the politicians and force all the people in the world to stay locked in their homes. And people can only come out if they take the cartels' drugs and keep taking them over and over. I threw the script away. I mean, who is going to believe that crazy idea? <laughs> Crazy. Okay, one that's hilarious. Well done. Uh, Saturday Night Live. That's a bad example because that joint yeah. ain't really give his little yeah. situation context. I ain't want to play no six minute clip though. Yeah, it is a long clip. Yeah, but um, he pretty much set it up like he he was giving the script. And he was just sitting on the beach reading the jump. The script pretty much said that. Yeah. He was like, "Who gonna believe that? Right? That's I stupid. Believe this, Nobody right. would believe it." Yeah. But the punchline is that's, that's exactly, exactly what, what happens. happens. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's exactly what happened, yo. And here we are today. 
Here we are. You want to know how we got here? This is it. This is how we got here. Yeah. Um, I just want to send um, a speedy recovery to President Joe Biden. Oh, you know, yeah. they found a cancerous lesion, oh, yeah. skin cancer. They removed it. They removed it. Thank God. They said, well, nothing else needs to be done. Y'all see his um, uh, speech about, well, it wasn't a speech. You see what he said about um, the nurse when he was in the military? Yes. What did he say? You're a wild dude, man. He old, y'all. Yeah, he is old. He old. He's you know, like, yeah, man. She was, she was, she, 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 she would whisper <laughs> things in my ear. What, what did he say? Yeah. Oh, yeah, she would bring me a pillow from her house and just. It was just a bunch of random shit where it was just like, what you really trying to tell us? Random Joe? little pleasant stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. Right. Would you yeah, hit that jump, Joe? Yeah. <laughs> he wouldn't say it. Yeah. yeah. He ain't gonna say it. He ain't gonna say it. He ain't that old. Right. Did y'all follow the? Uh, Alex Murdoch. I was know who going that? to, but then I backed away from Who's it. That? I didn't see it. Apparently, he, he killed a, his wife and his daughter. Or yeah, his son. It's a Netflix son. Uh, special. The he guy getting sentenced, from. or he got oh. sentenced to like life yeah. or whatever. He was found guilty. Was he like rich or something? Or Probably so. That's why they making a big deal of it. I don't know nothing about it. Never heard oh, of it. Kier, that's what I wanted to ask you. You, you know, you up on the whole little sweetie pie situation? No, that's another one who just went Who's to jail. Pie? They they had like a reality show. Yeah. The, and the dude, the son, nephew. The, he the he, nephew. He no, the uncle. I think uh, I just saw that. Um, paid for the nephew. It's like a murder for hire mm -hmm. plot. Yeah. I don't think the nephew was killed. Somebody died. Oh, he did? He going, somebody going to jail for life. For murder. For murder. Dang. Oh, I thought it was just murder for hire or something. I think whoever you put the hit. Go, you still go to jail for life for that. Yeah. Tim Even if Norman you were doing attempted murder. sentenced to life in prison for carrying out murder for hire plot against his nephew. It's his nephew? Killed yeah. his nephew. Wow. So former Sweetie Pie's owner, Tim Norman, has been sentenced to life in federal pr prison after he uh, was found guilty of carrying a, yeah, he carried it out. So I guess he did. Guess he did. Yeah. I think he had like a two, um, $450,000 allegedly, um, yeah. uh, life insurance policies. Uh, yeah. What? Sweetie Pie's been out of business and he was down and out or something? I don't know. This is his it was a what successful is it? Is business, it? though. That's what I'm saying. It's his brother's son? His brother was the heir, maybe? His brother, nah, because I think the brother was dead, too. Well, the mother was the heir? Yeah, so if it, I don't know. Maybe it was left in well, the kid's you, name. And Reed is crazy, yo. Ain't it? Oh, Make you want to kill somebody. For I think he had done time for before. Though. I think he had did like 15 years before all of this. Oh, yeah. And got out, and his mother had amassed this Sweetie Pie's business. So he got out and came in and tore the whole situation up. Looked like probably was jealous that his nephew was mm -hmm. gonna get it, mm -hmm. and not him, because uh, that's his mother. And that's um, more money, something more, stupid more money, like more that. Problems, y'all. Speaking of, speaking of death or untimely death, I don't know if it's untimely or not, but uh, um, Jimmy Carter actually. Oh, he bought the phone. Finally. Oh, he finally. He did. Died. Finally How did I miss that? Today? No, You've been living so was, long, yeah. man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember he went in the hospice, but I don't watch the news, so I think that's how I missed it. Yeah. Was there a like presidential the, uh, funeral that I missed too? No, nah, he's uh, no. I think no. I think you're right. I think he is in hospice. I don't know if he's. I don't, yeah. know, I don't know if he's passed or not, but he's. I don't know. I'm saying I don't know. Let me see. Wait a minute. You, you just said, said he, he died. You did say he died. He's finally about to buy the farm. We talked about that last week. Last week. Oh, All right. So oh, this has been another episode. Oh. <laughs> I think it's all level like old. <laughs> he ain't hey. died yet. He ain't died yet? No. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh, I'm still alive. I'm still alive. Take up my I'm still alive. I'm okay. <laughs> Sorry, Jimmy Carter. No, no, that's not funny. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm not, I didn't mean to laugh. Okay. No, not, not yet. <laughs> Don't you throw me off. I'm going. Okay, I'm sorry. Yonder.
Did y'all play that? If you know every black nigga. Man, that's my yeah. joint. Like country, yeah. This was a country funeral. If, y'all, if I die and they play that at my funeral, that's the only thing I'm going to miss, dog. I want to hear it going up y'all, dog. My own funeral. I want to hear that one. It might let you come back for a quick second. Let me come back for a little second, man. Let me go ahead. Let me go ahead. Let me go ahead. Look at that.